Your doctor tells you your cholesterol's high, hands you a prescription, says come back in three months. But here's what she didn't tell you. Cholesterol is just one piece of a bigger puzzle. Right now, something is happening inside your arteries that no pill was designed to fix completely. Inflammation, oxidative damage, blood vessel dysfunction. I'm talking about the actual disease process that happens years before chest pain, years before heart attacks. And there's a specific way of eating, not a diet, but a daily pattern that addresses all three of these problems at once. The research comes from Spain, Italy, and France. Over 7,000 people followed for nearly five years. The results were so powerful that major health organizations had to rewrite their guidelines. I've spent two years reviewing the published studies from respected medical journals. What I found challenges everything most people think they know about protecting their heart. If you're over 50, if heart disease runs in your family, or if you're tired of feeling like you're fighting a losing battle with your health, what comes next could change your trajectory. Let me show you what the science actually says. Before we go further, if you're new here, welcome! This channel exists to give you science-backed information about health after 50, without the hype or false promises. If this resonates with you, subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss new content. And drop a comment telling me where you're watching from. I love seeing this community grow across different parts of the world. Now, back to heart disease. In 2018, the New England Journal of Medicine published updated results from a landmark study called PREDIMED. They followed 7,447 people at high risk for heart disease, people just like many watching this video. These weren't young, healthy individuals, average age 67 years old. Many had diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, real people with real health challenges. The study divided them into three groups. Two groups ate a Mediterranean pattern, one with extra olive oil, one with added nuts. The third group got advice to eat low fat. After nearly five years, those following the Mediterranean pattern reduced their risk of heart attack, stroke, and cardiovascular death by 30%. Not 3%, not 5%, 30%. And this wasn't about lowering cholesterol, something deeper was happening. Let me explain what's actually going wrong inside your blood vessels. Your arteries are like highways for blood. When you're young, they're smooth, flexible, clean, but three silent processes start damaging them over time. First, chronic inflammation. Think of it like a low-grade fire burning inside your blood vessel walls. This inflammation never stops. It's there when you sleep, when you eat, when you exercise. Year after year, that burning damages the vessel lining. Second, oxidative stress. Your cells are literally rusting from the inside. Free radicals, unstable molecules, attack your vessel walls the same way rust attacks metal. This happens whether your cholesterol is 200 or 300. Third, endothelial dysfunction. The endothelium is the thin, inner lining of your blood vessels. When it stops working properly, your vessels can't relax when they need to. They can't regulate blood flow. They can't prevent dangerous clots from forming. Here's the part your doctor might not have explained. Cholesterol isn't the villain. When your vessels are inflamed and damaged, your body sends cholesterol there as part of the repair process. It's trying to help. Lowering cholesterol with medication helps, don't misunderstand me, but if you're not addressing the inflammation, the oxidation, and the dysfunction, you're treating the symptom while the root cause continues. This is why some people take statins for years and still have heart attacks. The medication lowers one number on a blood test, but the underlying disease process keeps progressing. The Mediterranean pattern works differently. It addresses all three problems simultaneously, and we have the proof. So what exactly is this Mediterranean pattern? It's not complicated, it's not expensive, and it doesn't require special foods you can't pronounce. Here's the core principle. Build every meal around plants, healthy fats, and small amounts of quality protein, not occasionally, daily. Let me break down what this looks like in practice. Component one, 
extra virgin olive oil as your main fat. Not vegetable oil, not canola, extra virgin olive oil. This matters because extra virgin olive oil contains polyphenols, natural compounds that directly reduce inflammation in your blood vessels. Use it for cooking on medium heat, drizzle it on vegetables, make salad dressings with it. Four tablespoons daily has been shown to reduce inflammatory markers significantly. Component two, vegetables fill half your plate, not iceberg lettuce. Deep colored vegetables, tomatoes, spinach, bell peppers, broccoli, carrots, eggplant. These contain antioxidants that fight the oxidative stress attacking your arteries. The research shows different colors provide different protective compounds. Red tomatoes give you lycopin, spinach provides lutein, Orange vegetables provide beta carotene. You need variety, not just volume. Component three, fish two to three times weekly. Wild salmon, sardines, mackerel, anchovies. These fish are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, EPA and DHA, that reduce arterial inflammation. The GISSI Prevenzioni study in Italy followed 11,000 plus heart attack survivors. Those taking omega-3 supplements reduced their risk of sudden cardiac death by 45% and total mortality by 20% over 3.5 years. Your body can't make these omega-3s, you must eat them. When you do, they get incorporated into your cell membranes, making your entire cardiovascular system more resilient. Component four, nuts daily. A small handful, walnuts, almonds, pistachios, they contain healthy fats, fiber, and plant compounds that help manage cholesterol naturally. A major Harvard study published in the New England Journal of Medicine followed 118,000 people for 30 years. Those eating nuts seven or more times weekly had a 20% lower risk of death from any cause compared to those who never ate nuts. 20% from a handful of almonds. Component six, whole grains, not refined. Brown rice instead of white, oats, quinoa, barley. These provide fiber that feeds your beneficial gut bacteria and emerging research shows gut health directly impacts heart health. Component seven, minimal processed foods and red meat. Notice I didn't say zero, maybe once or twice monthly. The Mediterranean approach isn't about perfection, it's about a consistent daily pattern that tips the balance in your favor. Here's why this pattern actually reverses heart disease rather than just slowing it down. When you eat this way consistently, every day, not just when convenient, three powerful changes happen. Mechanism one, you flood your system with anti-inflammatory compounds. The polyphenols in olive oil, the omega-3s in fish, the antioxidants in vegetables. These work like firefighters, putting out that inflammatory fire in your blood vessels. Researchers used advanced imaging to look inside people's arteries. After one year of Mediterranean eating, they could measure the inflammation decreasing. The damage sites were cooling down. Mechanism two, you restore endothelial function. That inner lining of your blood vessels starts working again. It produces nitric oxide, which helps vessels expand when needed. It becomes smooth and functional again. Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn at Cleveland Clinic documented this with patients who had severe coronary artery disease. With intensive plant-based Mediterranean eating, he saw actual disease reversal in patients previously told they needed bypass surgery. Mechanism three, you transform your gut microbiome. The fiber and polyphenols you eat feed specific beneficial bacteria. These bacteria produce compounds that reduce inflammation throughout your entire body, including your heart. Research published in Nature found that people following a Mediterranean pattern had completely different gut bacteria than those eating a Western diet. Those differences directly correlated with cardiovascular health markers. Think of your gut bacteria like a garden. Feed them fiber, polyphenols, and omega-3s, and they'll protect your heart. Feed them processed foods and sugar, and they'll contribute to inflammation instead. Here's what this means practically. Every meal is either feeding disease or fighting it. Every meal is either damaging your vessels or repairing them. You choose three times daily. I know what you're thinking. 
this sounds expensive, or I don't have time, or my family won't eat this way. Let me address these directly. About cost, yes, good olive oil costs more than vegetable oil, wild salmon costs more than ground beef, but you're either spending money on real food now or on medications and medical bills later. A bottle of quality olive oil costs about $15 and lasts a month. That's 50 cents daily. About time, a piece of grilled salmon with roasted vegetables and a salad takes 25 minutes. That's less time than most people spend in a drive through line. The Mediterranean way is actually simpler than most processed food preparation. About family, start with the add-in approach. Don't eliminate everything overnight. Add Mediterranean foods to your current meals. Add roasted vegetables as a side. Start using olive oil. Add nuts as snacks. Over weeks, these foods naturally crowd out less healthy options. I need to be clear about something. I'm not promising this will cure your heart disease. That would be irresponsible. What I am saying, this eating pattern has been shown in peer-reviewed studies to reduce cardiovascular events, decrease inflammation, and in many cases, reverse measurable arterial damage. This gives your body the tools it needs to heal itself. Your body wants to be healthy, but it needs the right building blocks. Will everyone who eats this way reverse their disease? No, some damage is permanent. Some people have genetic factors, but the research is clear. This pattern gives you the best possible chance to stop progression and potentially reverse damage. How do you actually start? Use what I call the one meal method. Don't try to be perfect tomorrow, that fails. Instead, week one, change breakfast. Oatmeal with walnuts and berries or Greek yogurt with almonds, just one meal, master that. Week two, add lunch, a large salad with chickpeas, vegetables, olives, olive oil dressing, or a bowl with quinoa, roasted vegetables, grilled fish, two meals dialed in. Week three, transform dinner, grilled salmon with roasted Brussels sprouts or vegetable stir fry with olive oil and brown rice, three Mediterranean meals daily. Week four, fix your snacks, raw almonds, apple with almond butter, carrot sticks with hummus, your entire day is now aligned with protecting your heart. One month, four weeks, you've transformed your eating pattern without overwhelming yourself. Here's what one complete day looks like. Breakfast, steel-cut oats with blueberries, walnuts, and cinnamon. Snack, handful of raw almonds. Lunch, a large mixed green salad with chickpeas, tomatoes, cucumber, olive oil, and lemon. Snack carrot sticks with hummus. Dinner, baked salmon with roasted broccoli and quinoa finished with olive oil and herbs. Nothing exotic, nothing complicated, just real whole foods that happen to be among the most protective foods on the planet. Listen, your heart has been working for you every single day of your life. It's beaten over two billion times. It's pumped enough blood to fill swimming pools. All it's asking for now is the right fuel, the right support to heal and repair. The Mediterranean pattern isn't a diet you go on and off. It's a way of respecting the body that's carried you this far. Here's what I want you to do right now. First, if this gave you a new perspective on heart health, hit that like button. It helps others find this information. Second, type yes in the comments if you're committed to trying one week, just seven days of Mediterranean eating. I want to know you're taking action. Third, share this with someone who needs to hear it, a parent, a spouse, a friend worried about their heart. You might add years to their life. Your heart is worth it. Your family needs you around and you deserve to feel strong and healthy. If you want more science-backed videos on heart health and living well after 50, subscribe and hit the bell. I post new content weekly. Thank you for watching. Take care of that heart. It's the only one you've got.